Okay, how are you all doing today? Um, I made a promise for you all that I will bring to you more awesome accessories and the details thereof of those accessories and attachments. This is one of them right here. Um, this is a first aid medical kit that I had on my um, battle belt. As far as actually seeing this on the battle belt, um, you can check out the actual video that I have for the battle belt on my page and you'll see it, it's attached to the belt. So if you wanna see how it looks on the battle belt, check out my video uh, on my channel, okay? Um, this right here was pretty decent. Um, I do have pros and cons, of course, that I would like to tell you about. I think I'm gonna rate this one in you know, the conclusionary part of this conversation a little bit lower than some of the other um, accessories that I have. So I'll tell you a little bit about that a little bit later, okay? But you can use this, like I said, for your battle belt. You can use it for camping, home, outdoors, things of that nature, or just throw it in the car for emergencies and uh, things like that, okay? Um, and let's, so let's get into it. So here, of course, you have the uh, Miley straps on the back, okay? And one thing I don't like about this, here goes your Miley straps. One thing I don't like about this is that it's an actual rip away bag, okay? That's cool to have a rip away bag for emergencies and things like that, but something that I notice is when I have it on my battle belt, if I sit down and things like that, it starts to eventually start to rip away automatically. So it's just not really, it's really not, you know, I don't know, it's just like, it doesn't stay attached to the actual bag. And so here goes the rip away here. You have the Velcro there, a strap that goes over the top. And then you have the actual rip away material here. And that can rip all the way off. So this whole whole piece here can actually come off the bag. And then you have a, uh, a loop here that you can hold and things like that if you're walking, okay? But this is the part that I don't like about the bag because it constantly rip away, you know, when you're sitting down or if you're walking, eventually it starts to just gradually, you know, come apart. And that's something I don't like. So um, I'm gonna put that back up here for you. Um, what I'm gonna do with it, I like the bag so much because of the, the items that are inside the, con uh, the content that are inside the, the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna sew it. And I know that sounds probably a little crazy, but I'm actually gonna sew it because I like the bags so much other than that. Um, I'm gonna sew it around here on the edges. That way it doesn't rip away. And I know that you probably need to rip away in certain emergency situations, but I don't like it, so. Um, and here are the contents inside the bag. And as far as explaining to you all of the contents that are inside the bag, stay tuned towards the end of the actual video and then I'll actually be giving you an overview of all the uh, content items and I'm gonna name all of them too. So those are some of them that's inside the bag and uh, I'll mention these in a few minutes for you, okay? All right. This is another one of the items here that's inside the bag and I'll mention that in a few minutes. All right, um, this is the inside of the bag. All right, so you have different sections and things like that, all right? So here you have a strap and you can take the things, the, you know, the things that are inside this actual bag and you can put them in different areas of this pouch, okay? So you have your straps here and you can just put things in there like that, okay? All right, and then also, if you look here, there's another part to it. So you have this here. You have an opening, okay? So that has a pouch area too, which is pretty cool. All right, zip it up. Um, and then there's more here. So you have other areas too where you can put more content inside the bag too, which is pretty cool. And another enclosed area here. 
All right. So that's pretty, pretty cool. You have your loops there too. Okay. Close this up. And then you also have your clip there. Okay. You can take that, clamp it down, and use it as you would please. Okay. So that's the bag. It's pretty much kind of straightforward. I like it because it has a lot of compartments in the inside of it. So it's pretty cool. You can put your different badges. It comes with the medical cross on it already. And but of course you can put other ones on the outside too, okay? You have your Molly material here too, and then you can also, you know, put flashlights and things like that on it too, okay? Alright, so that's the bag. Put the contents back in. I'm gonna organize all of this stuff shortly. I just haven't had time to do it, so I'm gonna organize it and put it in here nice and neat after I get the bag kind of sewed up towards the back of it. Alright. And so that's it. And then um, also here, the Molly straps. There. All right. Here. But like I said, it, it has a big, big issue with coming apart from that area there. I mean, it's 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 in there, but it, it just slowly starts to come apart. And I don't like that. All right. So that's the back. On a scale from one to 10, I'll have to give this bag a, I have to give it like a six. Because of the Some people may like that, may like that, but I really don't care for it that much. Um, and I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult with actually grabbing the bag, especially if I don't have it sideways on my hip. I like to wear mine on the back. And so I'm going to have to figure it out. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But th this is the bag. Um, and stay tuned um, in a couple of seconds here. And I'm going to go over the price, how much the bag costs. Okay. And um, then actually I'll show you some more colors and things of that nature um, that they have on the website. And that's about it, guys. This is it. All right. So not too bad. Check it out. And stay in tune here with me, okay? Okay, so let's get into this uh, medical kit review here. Um, as you can see, that is the bag right there for you. The price is $32.99. $32.99, and prices are subject, subject to change on Amazon, of course. Uh, if you look at the top right-hand corner, it has four and a half stars, so are not too bad at all all okay not too bad at all uh, i'm gonna show you guys the bag a little bit better here that's the bag um those are some of the items that are inside the bag okay so they actually have a list that i'm gonna read off to you in a few seconds but those are the items that was in that bag that i was showing you um and there you go right there a lot of band-aids you have your scissors um, a lot of good things, okay? Your adhesives, a lot of good stuff. So I'll read that off in a few seconds here. All right, so this is what's inside the first aid kit. You get 180 pieces, okay? All right, so you're going to get your scissors, tweezers, uh, sterile gauze, pads, of course, okay? Um, bandages, adhesive tape, self-adhesive bandages, your tourniquet, so that's important. You get your tourniquet, alcohol prep pads, iodine pads, uh, sting relief prep pads, band aids, antiseptic wet, wet. I'm sorry about that. Antiseptic wet wipes, um, soap wipes. Pretty interesting. Uh, round band aids, H shape band aids, closure band aids, uh, wound dressings, cotton buds, triangular bandage. Safety pins, CPR mask, pretty cool. PVC glove, emergency blanket, uh, rain ponchos. So you actually get a poncho for rain. That's cool. Uh, burn dressing, 
and first aid guide and scissors, okay? And they actually give you, you don't just get one of those items. With some of them, you actually get multiple items. So the alcohol prep pad, you get 30 of those. The band-aids, you get 30 of those. Round band-aids, you get 20 of those. Cotton buds, you get 50 of those. Safety pins, you get 10. Um, and then you get some items that are four. Antiseptic wet wipes, you get four. Soap wipes, you get four. Um, iodine pads, you get four. And steam relief prep pads, you get four. Uh, everything else looks like you get one of each, okay? So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you for that. So that's the list right there. If you need to pause through the video to look at it and check it out, please do so. All right. Okay. This right here just shows you the material, you know, and that it's water-resistant nylon material. It states that it has high-quality buckles and things like that, okay, along with the medical patch. All right, this, these are the dimensions of the actual bag. So if you want to know the dimensions, there you go. That way it gives you a little bit more, you know, better insight on how big it's going to be on your belt. But if you check out my video with the battle belt, okay, if you check out that video with the battle belt on my page, it'll really show you, you know, the size of it, okay? And this is how they kind of have all the um, items organized in the bag too right here, if you can see it, so... Looks pretty good. See how you have your bandages up there, you know. Right there, the little breathable area right there that you can unzip. Put some adhesives and things like that in there, so. All right, and other than that, on here, this just kind of shows you, you know, how people have their set up, so. Looks like somebody did some extras. Put some extra things inside. He carries his off the side. I don't know why he would do that, but I guess he just maybe he is some kind of, you know, you know, guy that in the ambulance or something. I don't know, but he has it on the side right there. All right. One guy has his attached to his book bag. Pretty cool. You know, right there. So. So I put mine on my battle belt. All right. Other than that, guys, that is about it. I would really, really appreciate it if you please subscribe, uh, like the video if it was informative to you, and also hit that bell notification. So whenever I roll out the newest content, you will receive it. And I really, really, really do appreciate you all, okay? All right, and I'm going to holler at y'all. Remember, I'm really not from this planet.